guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenaji. Welcome back to my channel. I posted um, a photo of our dinner some time ago on Instagram and I think on my Facebook page as well. And a couple of you asked how it is that I made my chickpeas rice. So the photo um, had chickpeas rice in it with some fish, some veggies, and there was a salsa in it as well. So I decided to do a video for you guys to show you how easy it is to make chickpeas rice and pan seared fish. Before we continue, of course, uh, in my previous video, I would have spoken or answered some of the questions you guys would have asked on my Insta story that I posted a couple of days ago. So I'm just going to answer a few more of them. Somebody asked, well, Samira asks, how to get non-thick dal? Well, to be honest with you, all you can do is just add some boiling water to it. So after you blend it up, if you think that it's too thick to your, like, you know, it's way too thick, all you can do is just add some water, some hot water to it until it's the thickness or thinness that you like so a crazy guy by the name of Kosem asks when are you going to do a cook-off challenge with chef Kosem well we could work on that one and we could get that one done um sometime soon hopefully amelia wanted to know on some tips on some healthy meal plans um do you cook or on a whim or plan meals ahead to be honest with you i probably don't really plan so much I might just um, think about it the night before so I can at least process it and you know think about what I might need to do depending on how my day will run but basically I think most of the times I just go on whatever I feel for to be honest with you like sometimes I'd even start cooking like like I'll say okay I'm gonna cook two items alone like rice and something and by the time husband gets home he has like five different things to choose from so I just go Sometimes, based on if I put the fridge, I find something in the fridge, I just say, okay, I can make this today, and that's how I go along sometimes. If I do have a busy day though, um, because I work, I don't have a fixed uh, working hours, don't have fixed working hours, I am quite flexible in terms of my timing. But sometimes I might have like a busy week or like a busy day, and days like that or weeks like that, I'll be sure to plan ahead. Now, the thing about the Insta stories, I sometimes forget that. Um, they disappear after 24 hours so if i did miss any questions that you guys asked and i didn't answer just send me back and you know in my next video i will ask you can send it to my dm of course or you can comment down below in this uh, video the comment section and let me know and i'll address it in my uh, one of the near or future videos to come so this is one of those easy simple dinner ideas for you guys just throwing it out there for you all it takes no time at all to cook it's pretty pretty simple before we get into the actual video guys I forgot to mention a lot of you uh, ladies message asked where I get some of my um, tops that I am wearing like this one so um, I posted an album on my Facebook page I'll post the link down below where you can actually purchase the stuff that I'm wearing and a couple other things that I'll be using in the video as well it takes you directly to the Amazon um, page so if you do want to purchase um, any of the items on the page, the, when you click on the link, it's going to take you to the exact um, specific item or product on the Amazon page. When you do purchase it, I just get a small commission. So there's nothing extra for you, nothing extra, no extra fees or anything like that. It's just part of what they call the Amazon Affiliate Program. So if you do want to get this stuff, go through the links. Uh, I'll be posting. I'll be adding more stuff too that I'm using in the video. So my non uh viewers can also get a chance to purchase it it's really simple they're good stuff i absolutely love them super comfortable so for all of, all of, the, all of you who have been asking you can check it out on my facebook page i'll post the link down below in the description box as well so now we can get into the video so i'm going to start off talking about the rice i already put it up to boil and this is brown rice that we are using not the regular white rice or not even the parboiled rice so we usually get the Uncle Ben's whole green um, rice. There's no salt added to this. And the other ingredients, pretty straightforward. I've got canned chickpeas. This is usually much easier to work with, but if you have the, um, the dried ones, you will need to, you'll need to soak it the night before and in the morning cook it or pressure cook it so that it's easy to work with. I'm going to be using some pimento some sive, some 
freshly grated garlic. Usually if you have ginger, you can add, it to add in some grated ginger in here as well. I'm going to be adding some parsley, some all-purpose seasoning, and this will already have the salt, so that's why we're not adding it to the pot while the rice is boiling. And I'm going to be cooking with coconut oil. So while the rice is cooking, I'm going to be seasoning up the fish. Now this was fish that was caught by the husband. Can't recall what type it was at the moment, but he usually parcels it out like this so it's easy to work with you know whenever i'm ready to cook and to this i'm going to be adding some garlic powder some paprika some thyme salt black pepper and i'm going to be coating it with some olive oil if you have chili or cayenne pepper you want to add some spice there feel free go right ahead and add it in so while the rice is cooking let's season up the fish how can I forget the most important thing when we cook in uh, fish or seafood? The lime. So I'm just going to be squeezing some of the lime juice. Then I'm adding in my thyme. Now I'm going to be averaging for this, right? So y'all can, this is just one of those those things like you adjust it according, accordingly. So I'm just giving you guys a, a listing of the ingredients. And you know, you could play around with it. So if some of you are going to ask about the average and how do you average? Well, to be honest, so what I'll do is like usually throw like enough to cover the top of whatever you see in like here. So on or like almost every piece of the fish on top here has. And then I'll just mix it up. So that's just usually how I would average to be honest with you. Now the salt really do that for the salt so much salt is something you could adjust according to your taste so some people like me I like a extra salt and then in goes the olive oil and I'm just going to use my hand and then I'm just going to mix it all up so you see like now all the pieces on the all each side is coated nicely so over time, that's how I started doing my averaging and you know, it's been working out pretty well so far. So I'm going to let this set, leave this aside for a little bit and then all we're going to be doing is just pan searing it. It's really that simple. So the rice is all finished. So I'm just going to combine everything, the chickpeas and pot is already hot. Got some coconut oil in there. Sometimes I'll even add some onions, but um, onion will tend to, um, the rice will spoil fast, faster if we add the onions. So depending on, you know, what I'm cooking it for, I'll add the onions or I'll eliminate it. So after about a minute, you don't want the garlic to start burning. I'm going to add my chickpeas. And in goes my rice. At this point, you can turn off the stove. Pot is hot, the heat is still there. I'm going to add the chopped up side. If you have fresh parsley, you can add the fresh parsley as well. In goes the dried parsley. And then in goes the all-purpose seasoning. Just mix this all up. And really, actually, it's this easy to put together some chickpeas rice. Almost forgot the garlic powder, guys. So although I would have added the freshly grated garlic, adding some of this garlic powder to just about every dish that you're making adds an extra kick of flavor. And now that's about it. So our chickpea rice is finished. So now let's just work on the pan seared fish. I've got my pan up. I sprayed it with some um, olive oil nonstick spray. And now all I'm going to be doing is just placing the fish. Now if you have a grill, you can actually do it on the grill as well. So you get nice grilled fish. But I need to get myself a new grill. So my heat is between medium and high and I'm going to let it cook 
depending on the thickness of course of the fish usually sometimes like usually when I start seeing like up to half of it start to turn in white then I will flip it over fish finish guys like two to three minutes on each side again depending on the thickness of the fish okay so this is what the fish looks like and usually what I would do is just drizzle some olive oil over it and of course if you have the fresh parsley you can go ahead and <coughs> sprinkle it over it for some extra color so I added some freshly chopped side just for that pop of color and if the color on the fish itself would be from the paprika that you usually add and if you were to add the cayenne pepper or the ground chili as well you will get an even more intense um, color to it as well so the ingredients that I have list listed down below that's what, just what I used on the fish to season it with the actual measurements you feel free go right ahead and experiment with it play around with it until you get you know the nice the right mix for it Alright guys, and that is it for our pan seared fish. Remember you can grill it as well. If you do have a grill, our chickpeas rice to go along with it. I've made some cucumber salsa. I'll be posting that in another video. And also some beets that I have to go along with it. So that's it. Chickpeas rice, pan seared fish, cucumber salsa, beets. If you got some vegetable as well, do a chunky veg to go along with it. But this is one of those delicious meals husband actually enjoys quite a lot and as you can see it's not that hard to put together at all so you guys so how quick and easy that is chickpeas rice beets some cucumber salsa i will post the salsa uh, video uh, another time i'll try to include like a, a lot of some different um sides like salsa like that you guys could choose from so i'll make that into one video um fancy fish super easy to make if you have a grill utilize it it's pretty simple the rice, like I mentioned, it was Uncle Ben's brown rice, whole grain rice that we use. Um, we try to stay away from any parboiled rice, although I like my rice, especially if I'm eating like dal or something like that. I prefer not to go along with the brown rice, but we do try to eat more of it um, instead. Beets, of course, pretty good for you. Tastes like dirt, to be honest with you. I don't like it at all, but it's pretty good. So we try to include that. Recently started including that as well. Pretty simple meal for you guys to try out. You guys ask for it. Check these rice. Try it out at home. It's really simple. Packed with flavor. Absolutely delicious. If you're wondering about the fish, what type of fish you can use, you can use some of um, snapper fillets. They have those selling in the um, supermarket. So any sort of like you know fillet fish snapper is really nice. You can even do these salmon like this as well if you want to. Normally, husband catches fish. Whatever fish he brings home, I just try to utilize it. But if you ask, wanting to, if you want to know like what you can use, you can try these snapper fillets, and I know that they have them selling in the supermarket freezer section. So be sure to check them out, of course. Comment down below. Let me know if you did enjoy this. If you will try it out, give it a try. I think that you will like it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Biggest best fish from boy. So this is the guy who caught the fish. So yeah, this you know. Fish real good. He ate this so many times already. He likes it, but still, you know. Mmm. All for me. Mm. She's the best fish maker. No. So he keeps saying all the time. No restaurant could ever come here. Eat so some chickpeas, chickpeas, rice too. Come on, and you know you like that stuff. My kind of rice. Yeah, we actually really like this. Like this is one of our go-to, especially like with the cucumber salsa in it. Real, real good. Cucumber number one. Yeah, I, I would say I actually love it too. Fish with chickpea rice and cucumber salsa. Healthy too. Yeah. Good job. Thanks for catching the fish. Yeah, so happy bargain. No. Not too often. So we will be fish real expensive right now, guys. I hear carrots selling for 45 and 50 a pound. What else? I was just telling the nickel you snap a fillet. Any white meat, fish, um, snap a fillet. Um, you can use salmon too, but salmon kind of soft, so you have to cook it fast. Um, even tilapia, if you still eat tilapia, you can use that as well for this kind of meal. I mean, 
It's an easy option to get. Mm. So pretty good white fish. Great job, honey. Good job. We could go again, but not anytime soon. Comment below who wants to see Jenna. You do a catch and cook. Catch fish and cook. I wouldn't mind doing that actually. Close, close, close. I just can't hold the fish from the Tony line. No, 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 no. <laughs> You just have to help with that. Different, different. No, yeah. They might probably like to see that though. Because if you all see how I get on, like um funny story, the other day, this fish jumped out. A small fish, like small, yeah, like small, jumped out of one of the containers he has and um I had to call him to ask him. Just pick up your fish and pay back. I couldn't. You can't do anything. I tell him I tell him he should have should have already taken that you will be laughing at me, but I'm not ashamed to say it, okay, I don't like fish and those slimy feeling stuff. It's like, mm -mm. I'll buy you some gloves. Yeah, so I couldn't even try holy fish itself. I was feeling like this was, and it was jumping, it was what? like at it. But, you know, I use the net. The net, and I tried to do like this and do yeah, something. Yeah, I didn't find him dead on the ground yesterday. No, Maybe. really? Did you even ride it? No, I did not. Did you try catch him? Yeah, I did. I think I used some in. Oh, we jump back. But yeah, hilarious stuff. But uh, try this, guys, for sure. And, um, you like it, you like it. So it's for lunch, then I have lunch then tomorrow too. No. Why don't make it up? Thanks so, so much for watching guys. See you all in the next video. Fish on. Cook on, eat on.